It's time for Studio 7, sponsored by your Permian Basin Chevy dealers. Welcome back. We're joined now with Brandy Bell, our Durab to Fab contributor. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. So today we're going to be talking about summertime entertainment. Absolutely. And summertime goes hand in hand with lemons. Mm -hmm. Love it. Um, it's also trending. Yes. The, I didn't get the memo today. Hence but. the lemon dress. <laughs> so um, everywhere you look on Pinterest, social media, there's all lemons. kinds of fun ideas to incorporate lemons mm -hmm. into your summer and entertaining. And so what we really want to do is thinking of think about using um, regular objects, but in unexpected ways. Okay. So instead of um, using just a bowl for potato salad. Mm -hmm. You could use a really fun lemon vase. Oh, I um, love that. Or if you want it to be outside and you don't want to have to worry about tablecloths, mm -hmm. um, but you want to carry with your theme, they sell these little rolls of paper. And look how what kind of paper is this? Fun. It's so they sell it at the big big box stores. Uh -huh. It's sold over with the craft section, okay. and so I don't know really what exactly it's for, but I use it for table runners. Okay. And I buy every pattern out there because if you even had nothing other than this and all white dishes, uh -huh. it's fun. Your theme came across. And yes. It's, I think I paid a dollar fifty a roll Could, for it. Would you use something maybe for like a table runner too? Yes, that's okay. exactly what I use it for. Okay. So um, I use it for table runners because it gives a lot of uh, bang for your buck. Mm -hmm. um, and it's cheap, I assume? So cheap. $1.50. Okay. So that. cheap. Um, another way, if you don't want to go with traditional tablecloths, but you want to carry on with your theme, uh -huh. um, never underestimate the power of these cute little hand towels. You can set this in the middle of a table mm -hmm. on a white tablecloth or on a plastic tablecloth. And um, it's just a really fun, cute way. And Dish towels are super inexpensive, and if you're done with your theme, you can use them in your kitchen, and they're practical. Yes, so, I love um, that. But it's it's really cute. Another thing you can do is you can take regular plates mm -hmm. and make little thematic serving pieces. Um, I did not bring the E6000 out because I forgot about it. <laughs> but if you have a dinner plate, uh -huh. a salad plate, and a tea plate or a dessert plate, uh -huh. you can just glue, I glued this one, um, a little candle holder oh, wow. or a candlestick uh -huh. on the middle of the big plate and then you glue the next one and then you glue the next one and they make really great little tiered trays mm -hmm. um, for serving for parties. If it is an outdoor party, you could do this with plastic. Yeah. Um, you can do it with the hard, 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 hard paper ones mm -hmm. um, and then you can chunk them when you're done. I just tied a little bit of yellow ribbon to stick with our theme. And I recognize this glass. Yes, from a we, previous DIY. Yes. It was green and I was like, okay, it's sticking kind of with our lemon theme. Uh -huh. um, another thing that you can do that's really simple and kind of keeping with the think outside the box mm -hmm. uh, theme is when you're serving um, condiments or you need a place to put silverware, uh -huh. you don't have to put it in traditional containers. And okay. so, um, like if you could line up pieces of paper and mm -hmm. you want to grab these jars, yes. um, just line them up on here. And these are just jars that came from a local dollar store. And I put spoons, forks, knives in one. And you could write on there spoons, forks, knives. You could coordinate them on a tray. Um, so cute. And if you wanted to make it fun, you could throw some lemons on there. Here you throw some lemons on there. And then it just kind of goes with your theme. You could also write on the jars with chalk, chalk markers. Um, another thing that you can do is you can use, especially if you're going outside and you don't want things that are breakable. Okay. These are plastic cups. And they look nice though, I mean. They're fancy. <laughs> um, you can put ketchup, relish, mustard, onions. Oh, I love that, onions. that'd be so cute. Um, you know, add your little spoons so they know they're for serving. There's this thing called the condiment clutter at any barbecue yeah. where after everyone fills their plate, they all congregate and wait. Yes. So if you split the condiments, you know, have two different areas, it's a little bit easier to get to. Um, so kind of continuing with the same theme, you could tie in a lemon theme uh -huh. um, to a gardening theme or just a garden theme. Okay. I like to mix them. Here, let's move this over here. Um, doing something similar with the jars. You could use terracotta pots for the forks. This is and so spoons. cute, and these little knives and mm -hmm. forks are just. You can actually so cute. even here. Let's just move these over okay. here for a second. You can use these for condiments. 
So these are the little like wine, champagne, solo uh -huh. cups. You can fit these perfectly and they can hold your um, ketchup, mustard, relish, and so it sticks with your theme. And then you just chunk this whole thing when you're done at the end of the party, and then stack these for later use. So um, they could go either way, the right relish, or you could group them all in one of these little trays. Um, you could group them in this mm -hmm. tray, kind of continuing, think it outside the box again. Once you've washed these, you could put potato chips in here, you could put potato salad. I love that. These apple baskets. Um, are super fun for like chips, but instead of using a big scoop, you could use like the little gardening shovel. Things I would have never thought of. Um, yeah, now <laughs> these could also be weapons, so if you have boys, watch out. Um, <laughs> even gardening gloves are a really cute way to just decorate. They're a dollar and it kind of sticks with the theme. And then you can always use boxwoods and little topiaries for your gardening theme. A so little cute. topiary at the top. But you're saying you can mix in the lemon with the gardening if you want to, or just do just lemon, just gardening. Just lemon, just gardening. And then ribbons are a really simple, on-hand way to tie in any theme. So let's say you're just doing hot pink gardening. You mm -hmm. can tie some hot pink ribbon around your terracotta pots. You could tie some hot pink ribbon around your, your jar. So you can kind of incorporate your theme by just tying ribbon on just about anything. And that's inexpensive. Inexpensive again. And then even just, you do not have to be a florist to add some fun floral. Stick a couple of, you know, pre-bought picks in a vase, and then boom, you have some floral. And always, if you're doing lemons, have fresh lemons on hand as table scatter, because they're so cute. I love this. Things so. I, again, file this under things I would have never thought to do, yeah. but. Definitely feeling inspired for a little summer party now. Yeah, absolutely. And if you are at a home improvement store, uh -huh. go peruse the gardening section. Okay. And think, what can I put stuff in? I love that. Well, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me.